Shanti, peace to you, peace to me. Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Peter and today I want to talk about do we have the right to do what we do? Do we have this right? Are we actually the rulers of this natural world or are we part of it, part of nature? Or are we the guardians of it because of our intelligence? So what we're doing today to the planet do we have the right to do this? This is a very important and pressing question as our exterior world starts to deteriorate rapidly, rapidly. Carcinogens and pathogens all around us is growing by the day and the destruction of the rainforest has gone from like, I think it was about 14% of the world's surface now has gone down to about 8% the uh, the rainforests and species are in decline. I know we're in the sixth extinction uh, part of our evolutionary time, but we're not helping it. And our, the diversity of our food is, is shrinking because of commercial interest. But do we have the right to do what we do, like uh, genetically modify food to make it simpler to, to produce so it makes more profit so that we can use weed killers and insecticides like glyphosate, things like that that actually poison our earth. Do we, do we have the right to do that? And it actually and poisons all around the, the areas that we're actually using it. It's killing insects and, all, and the biodiversity is, is dropping around these places that are using it. It's poisoning humans as well. There's stories of villages in Mexico that are near farms now. They're developing cancers. Children got cancers and all kinds of stuff. Do we have the right to do that? To actually just to produce, say, for food, for GMOs, for instance. And when we eat GMOs, our body doesn't know what to do with it. So it starts to put it into strange places and then other ailments come up like cancer and things like that. Proven medical facts, proven medical facts. Some of the medications that we use, well, a lot of them are based on herbs and herbal remedies that our ancestors used. And they just, they just put, put another drug to it so they can paint in it. I know there's been uh, several painting attempts on the head of a broccoli. <laughs> you paint the broccoli that comes from nature. But there's been several attempts at that, but it's such a wonder food that somebody wants to paint in it. I want to paint in it. And all the genomes in your body now have been painted it when they did the Human Genome Project. All of them have been, there's a painting on all of them, so you don't actually own the genomes in your body. <laughs> mad world we live in. So do we have to write with these medications to actually put poisons into other people's body with no liability? I remember going into a chemist uh, quite a while ago when I had a, a suspected abscess in my tooth and I was looking through the ingredients of the antibiotic they were going to give me and there was an E number in there which was a known carcinogen. And I said to the chemist, this is a carcinogen. And she said, yeah, but it's only a little bit. It's only, you know, it's a tiny amount. That's, that's, that, that amount's not going to harm you. I said, how do you know that? How, how you, can, can you be so certain of that? How can you know I haven't got to build up that already and that's going to, that, that might tip the balance? You don't know that. So I, I don't want that. And I said, well, and I said, do you know these statistics of cancer coming to one in two human beings? One in two, which is, it was hardly any cancer when I was a young boy. I'm getting old now, but it was quite, quite a, quite rare when someone had cancer. And she said, "Well, it's lifestyle choice." I said, "Yes, my lifestyle choice is not to have this in my body, and you're not really taking me very seriously." So she had to go, and they had to order some antibiotics, which had no dye, no other additives into it. So I just took that, but it still wiped <laughs> out my gut floor. I know that now. I didn't know that at the time, and that was it. So. There was a carcinogen in the medication that was given to me. So how many people do actually look at the medications and the side effects that we have? I think they're starting to have to put some of the side effects up, or they will do. But a lot of these medications are using you as a guinea pig, so they're, they're checking you. So have, have we got the right to do that as human beings? Have we, have, have we the right? I don't think so, but it seems to be going on. Transhumanism. Transhumanism, have, have we got the right to do that? Have we got the right to 
coerce human beings onto their mobile phones they're sitting there on their phones yeah. touch your phone what's thousands and thousands of times a day and you walk along the street now and you look into restaurants and people, there's a couple out for dinner both tapping their phones it's just no and then that will go a stage further when they're going to get a band for your wrist where that's going to be fueled by your body so you don't need a battery but it's going to be connected with your body and therefore you're going to have the information put into there and I, I've done a lot of research into EMFs and I know that they're harmful for the body and yet nothing's being discussed with that and then finally they're going to put a neural net underneath your skull on your brain so you can interact with your computer without having any wires or any any you don't even have to turn it on <laughs> you'll be wired all the time oh my goodness me transhumanism that's where Ray Curzo wants to take the world when really we don't we don't really comprehend how much the human body is amazing and how much we can actually do and I've addressed that in other videos do we have the right to modify the weather in the 1950s they were creating hurricanes with two jets you think that research hasn't carried on if you go to I think it's weather weathermodification.com you'll see all the different countries this country this company is working in to modify the weather so all the, all the trails in the sky which the governments deny is happening you get these white balls all, all, all around the world and you, you look at the satellite images of them and there's juddering in the atmosphere as they're pumping out whatever they're pumping out EMFs you've got heart bouncing its frequencies off where you used to off the biosphere and apparently it used to vibrate <laughs> have we got the right to do that have we got the right I, I touched on pesticides and insecticides have we got the right to spray them across the country across the world they're getting into water supplies getting into the food chain getting into you have we got the right to genetically modified babies have we got that right so that if you want a baby with blue eyes and blonde hair you can now they, they they've got the technology now we can go into the gene and play about with it so that comes out who knows the consequences of that when you mess about with the genes who knows you can change the physiology of an animal or a human with this technology have we got the right to do that not saying we have or we haven't have we got the right have we got the right for cloning cloning human beings cloning babies cloning pets that's happening as well it's starting to happen and it's only going to get worse unless we feel that our conscience says no this this is not right this is this is the wrong thing to do the wrong path have we got the right to spray the world with electromagnetic frequencies which are said to be by the world health organization a possible carcinogen possible to be and if all the research had come in from the bio initiative report of 2012 it would have been a probable carcinogen but they haven't updated it and looking at it now with more research that keeps flooding in it is i would imagine it would be a carcinogen i.e causes cancer emfs cause cancer and now they're going to put 5g all across the planet and this will be affecting not only human beings but all animal and plant life so the whole world will be affected by these electromagnetic frequencies have we got the right to do that as human beings have we got the right to do that big question big question so EMFs are to do with radiation and we've got the right to use radiation or a, a, a nuclear power to create energy Einstein said that was one of the most stupid things to do was to heat water up with <laughs> nuclear power yeah I agree with him crazy stuff and then we can't we can't get rid of the pollution uh, the the waste of it so we, we bury it underground and it's going to be there for for millions of years millions of years and it probably rotting the surroundings of it look at Fukushima look what happened with Fukushima and how much that has affected the whole of the ocean all the way over to the west coast of America 
Have we got the right to do that, to mess our planet up so badly? Have we got the right to do that? Have we got the right to war, to fight wars? I like the uh, Aborigines. The Aborigines apparently, when they used to go to, had, had a dispute in their tribes, they used to line up as if they're going to go to war with their spears and they'll stand there. And they just realised that the whole thing was ridiculous and then just shake hands and then walk off to their particular tribes. They, they didn't actually fight. But they said, well, you know, it's like a, this is the war, so we've got to go through this this motion. And I suppose it's something for them to do, I don't know. But interesting. So have we got the right to war, to, to, to go in, especially with the Vietnam War, with the beginnings of Agent Orange from Monsanto, and spraying the jungles with this Agent Orange, which have been affecting all the animals and the insects and, and the plant life. Have we got the right to do that? just to try and depose a dictator. <sighs> I don't know. And the big question is, did civilizations do this before us? What, is there a trace that they have done that? Well, some people have done the research of this green glass that happens after a nuclear explosion. And they are finding it in areas where they thought it was a, a meteor strike and no, it could have been a nuclear bomb because it's a green glass that came from Fukushima and Nagasaki, the same green glass is around these areas. So have we got the right to create and drop nuclear bombs? Have we got the right to use depleted uranium in Libya and Iraq, which reports show that we did which is going to be sitting there radioactive for how, how long? Goodness knows. We've got the right to use that. This is the world that we live in today and it's not doom and gloom because we can change it like that once we all wake up and say, whoa, no, we shouldn't be doing this. Let's do something about it. And then get up and do something about it. Be responsible. I'll finish this. There's people like Carl Sagan who feel that we are like a teenager and we're at a critical point for our future. And I tend to agree, we need to start to wake up, look at the world and stop this nonsense. No more time for nonsense, <laughs> stop this nonsense. Try and work ourselves into a position where we're all responsible for what's happening on, in the, planet, on the planet and be the guardians of the earth rather than the destroyers of the earth. So have we got the right to do any of this stuff that I've, I've, talked about i don't think so what do you think thank you for watching this video and i'm sure i'll see you in the next video please like and subscribe subscribe